Hey guys, it's Lydia here and welcome back to the shop. Today I have another laser engraving slash cutter video for you guys. This is one of the lasers you've probably never seen before. It is thinking completely outside the box for making laser engravers. It is really awesome and I cannot wait to show you guys what it is capable of. So let's get started. So when I said you've probably never seen a laser like this before, you probably haven't. This is an infinite engraving space laser. So this width is about 400 millimeters. It measures at 20 inches. However, you do have the laser head that has a stopping point. So this width is about 400 and then it's infinite length. So that's what's really crazy about this laser. When I was reached out to um, review this laser, I was very surprised. I've never seen anything like it before and I for sure wanted to jump in and see what it was capable of. And I actually just did my first engraving test on it, um, the Timberwood Customs logo. And I think it took about 10 minutes um, and it's actually pretty deep. And I ran it at 3000 millimeters a second. Um, so even being super deep at that speed, this laser is super capable of a lot of things. Uh, so let's jump in right into the specs. It is a 10 watt laser. Again, it is infinite length. And you can also get a um, rotary device that hooks into it and engrave that way as well. Um, there is actually a switch on the back of this machine to shut off the Y axis movement, which I didn't really get it at first. My machine wasn't moving, but if you have this machine and you're unsure about that, that switch in the back shuts off this movement so that you can plug in your uh, rotary device to the machine. So it's really like any other machine to plug in. You have a USB plug-in. It is not a normal, like a printer USB plug-in. It is a, I think a micro USB, but they provide that cord for you. So if you lose this cord or it doesn't work, it's really easy to uh, replace. And then again, the power supply is just normal, plugs into the back. There is an on and off switch in the back as well. Um, and there's a nice touch screen at the top. So I'm gonna bring you guys up here and show you uh, really how easy it is to move this machine, plug in and play, uh, and start creating some awesome things. So the touch screen is simple. Um, once we turn the machine on, you can press start um, and you can move your laser around with uh, these buttons. Um, and another really cool thing about this laser is the X axis is automatic. So as you can see, I can move the laser head up and down just by using these two simple buttons here. And it is very responsive. There's no lag to the movement after pressing the buttons. Um, it's very impressive and um, probably one of the best touch screens that I've ever used on a laser before. So I wanted to flip this laser over and show you guys what's underneath. Um, as you can see, there is an, a tube that also uh, sucks out the smoke from your laser. As you can see, that is from the engraving I just did. And on the other side, I'll show you, there's a port where there are some filters where the air gets pushed through and filtered out so you don't have a smoky area um, like you usually do with normal laser engravers. And um, everything's pretty industrial down here, um, super strong, there's no wiggling, and it also is nice that they gave you this protective shield for your eyes when the laser is on. And for the Y-axis movement, you can see there are these uh, wheels here, and when you move one side, it moves the other, so there's no way for um, anything to get out of the line, at least for from the wheels, uh, which is super nice, and they are um, pretty durable so that, you know, uh, they don't uh, degrade fast or um, get damaged easily. Uh, so that is the bottom side here. Again, this is a little inside of the laser. I know there is a flame detector. I believe that is right here. And then it has its um, soft stops over here, and then it knows its distance it can go on, on this side. So like I mentioned earlier, if you remove these four screws, there are some filters in there, um, but there also is an option for you to remove those and then have your own extraction for the dust. However, that's good for me right now because this won't be a day-to-day -day use laser, so I'm going to keep those filters in there. So as you guys can see, I have this set up on my CNC table. Now I have it on here because this is about the biggest surface that I have. I do have my table saw, however, that is being occupied right now. 
Um, but this is also completely flat to my knowledge. I have flattened it with the CNC. Uh, and that is really one thing you want to keep in mind with using this machine because if anything is not flat or uh, not smooth or clean, you might have a problem with a bigger engraving. Now, like I've said, I've only done this one little one, but today I'm gonna be doing some cutting tests and seeing how strong this machine actually is. And then I will attempt to do a really large engraving, uh, bigger than, you know, a normal 400 millimeter cut engraving like the Ortor Laser Master 2. So let's try a couple test cuts on different materials and then we will do some more engraving because we know it's capable of engraving. Uh, that's mainly what it's used for. But let's try the test cuts and see how it goes. So the first thing I'm going to do is press the home on the machine just so it homes itself and is ready for an engraving. Um, and so now I'm going to set up a simple square on light burn and make sure I frame it so I know where it's gonna cut set it up and as you can hear the fan is kicked on so right away as soon as the machine starts to move the fan kicks on so I'm just gonna do a couple of these tests and then we'll go over the settings that I used All right, so I have done a couple tests, and so we're going to start with the first one, which is just this normal, uh, super, super thin, it's like a 16th inch plywood um, that came with the machine. Now, I cut this super fast at 500 millimeter second uh, with one pass only, and all of these are ran at 100 power, so keep that in mind. Um, I always run everything as 100 power, especially when I cut, and like I said, this just cut like butter. It's super easy to cut stuff like this. You can make um, little keychains out of this material and you can even just make some, you know, test cards and things like that. So this is super easy to cut. The next thing I tested out was some um, uh, pine. Now this was just a piece of a palette and as you can see on this side, they kind of cut out and then I was able to get one not completely successful. As you can see, I kind of had to break it. Uh, this is like a quarter inch, maybe three eighths inch pine and it was at 400 power or 400 millimeters per second at four passes so it actually cut pretty well uh not completely clear clean but pretty decent for the thickness that this is next i tried some plywood now this is uh, i believe a little less than a quarter inch wood um, plywood just simple stuff that i use here in the shop and i was kind of able to cut it as you can see it just hold on by a tag here um, but it does move in and out, and that is at 400 power again, but that was with five passes. So um, it's a little harder to cut through material that has a lot of glue in it, but this did pretty pretty well compared to some other lasers that I've tried. Now into the real harder woods. This is um, not necessarily hardwood. I believe that this is poplar, and this cut with three passes, which is really nice. And another thing you guys can see is really only the burn is on the bottom and that is because they were completely flat on this uh, MDF board. If I had them raised, I'm sure that would be less, but it's really nice to see that it has a clean top. So if you were cutting out letters or something, um, it would have a clean cut all the way through. And this is uh, about a little bit more, maybe three sixteenths of an inch uh, of poplar. And then I went into the actual hardwood. So I took a scrap piece of walnut and I wanted to see how well this would cut. And I actually got it to cut with two passes. Keep in mind, this is about an eighth of an inch thick. So I'm not sure what people would be cutting at this thickness, maybe some letters for a sign, uh, but it is definitely possible to cut. As you can see, I did it twice here with this laser at 400 speed, which is pretty fast for most lasers when cutting hardwoods. And this one didn't cut all the way through, but as you can see, it's like three quarters of an inch. I wanted to show you guys, this was at four passes, 400 power. And you can see it probably went down a quarter of an inch. It did move a little bit. That was my fault. I tapped it. Um, but I wanted to see 
what it would look like and how deep it actually went. Now, usually the reason it, these lasers can't cut this deep is because they lose focus. So it's not necessarily the laser isn't strong enough to cut it, but its focus is lost throughout the thickness of the material. So the final material that I cut was uh, hardwood, the final wood material, and this was four passes, 400 power. And as you can see, I also cut some letters out, and I wanted to show you here how nice and clean they looked. Uh, this is about, again, 3 sixteenths of an inch of hardwood. This is hard maple, and I'm really surprised on the quality of cut that we got here. It's very, very clean, and um, this was, again, with the same setting of with four passes at 400 speed. Again, my speed is 400 millimeters a minute, so make sure you check yours because some people might have theirs set to millimeters a second. But as you can see, it just looks really, really nice, so I think this is definitely a great machine uh, to cut materials kind of like this super cleanly without any burn marks, as you can see on here. I wanted to try cut the foam that came with the machine this was just foam that was stuck into the machine to make it not move and this was one pass at 400 millimeters a minute cut like butter of course that's what i expected this is in real time running this at 100 power with 10,000 millimeters a second on mdf So this is how the laser uh, engraving turned out. Now, obviously, this is not the biggest engraving that you can do on this laser. Again, it is an infinite length um, in the Y axis. The, Z the X axis, I didn't do very big, but I just wanted to do my logo to show um, the evenness as it moves along, um, not having any rails and just having rollers. Uh, so we can take a quick look here, and you can see that it... Um, it's pretty clean. Of course, there's some burning. Um, I'm going to flip the camera around here and show you a little bit close up of what the engraving actually looks like. So you can see it is a pretty clean engraving. Um, however, it's a little different. You can see there's more burning on the edges here um, than on this uh, longer part of it, which is a little different. Um, I've never seen this with a laser before, but again, this is a totally different laser than what most of us are used to but the engraving is really clean um i definitely would do an engraving and then uh just do a line an outline of this to maybe make the lines a little cleaner um the only thing i don't really like is the unevenness of engraving as you can see on these zero or the o's and the d however it's a pretty decent engraving and i'm sure the bigger scale you get the more even the engravings are. So guys, that's pretty much it for this awesome infinite uh, wide direction laser. It's pretty cool, it's definitely unique, and I would um, honestly just recommend it to someone who wants to do a bigger board, for example, eight foot board, 10 foot board, something like that. Uh, other than that, it's really just like another laser. It is pretty strong, as you guys saw, it cut um, the uh, about an eighth inch uh, walnut which was really surprising. So it definitely has great cut quality and it's really cool laser. It's definitely portable, super portable, which is something I really like, uh, but it has its specific uh, purpose, which is longer and larger engravings or cuttings. Um, so definitely keep that in mind if you're interested in purchasing this. But again, it works just like any other laser. It engraves very well, um, cuts really nicely, and is a super cool and uh, something I've never seen, and probably most of you have never seen as well. So if you guys are interested in it, I will have some links for it down below. If you have any questions about the laser and its quality, um, what it can do and everything like that that I didn't cover in this video, please let me know. I am always um, checking the comments and answering what you guys have asked. So again, thanks so much for watching, guys, and I hope to see you in the next video. Bye.